Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So I'm back again with another ChatGPT video and in today's video I'm going to show you another use case of ChatGPT and this is going to be related to reverse engineering. So I'm doing some experimentation with ChatGPT and what I could figure out that you can actually use ChatGPT as a decompiler. So to be able to show you this, what I can, uh, what I'm going to do is I have opened a random uh, exe file in IDA Pro and here I have opened a ran completely random function. So what I am going to do is I'm going to copy this subroutine and paste it in ChatGPT. I'll say, can you please tell me what this code is all about? Just for your information, I also do not have any idea what this is. Uh, this code is actually trying to do. I just randomly opened it, but it seems it is able to identify some of these things. So this is what it has to say. The assembly code for x64 processor. That's absolutely correct. And okay, uh, the subroutine contains several instructions. That's pretty evident. Without more context, it's a bit difficult to say what exactly the subroutine does. However, it appears to be two different function. Okay, it is saying these two functions are being used and it is saying overall this code is likely part of larger program and sub specific for purpose. So it is not able, not able to tell. So what I'm going to tell ChatGPT now is can you please write this same code in C for me. Let's see. Sure. Here is a possible C version. Okay, it's interesting. Okay. It's writing the subroutine and as you can see, uh, it's uh, pretty much same with mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Actually, it is able to uh, clearly identify all the if else, uh, you know, clause that it has. So uh, just to you know verify its authenticity, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch to graph view and probably you know convert the same uh, assembly code into, uh, into C code using IDA decompiler. So this is the code actually by IDA decompiler uh, and I'm going to compare it side by side online code diff. So let's see whether it is able to you know on the left hand side i'm gonna keep the version that ida has written okay i'll keep it on the right side and on the left side i'm gonna paste the version that you know ida has written let's see but as you can see it is able to uh, the code is not similar however if you take a look at it it is able to identify you know all the if else clauses so this this line is pretty same and this is a if clause that has been used and and this is the actually you know if this is true and it is we are calling actually in the exit and look at the else function which is register on exit function and it is, we are actually you know passing the same value that it is being passed and there is another if clause which is like this okay if okay interesting so what you can what we can understand uh, from this actually you know it is it is able to actually uh, you know uh, it can give you some idea about you know what the hell is going on behind this assembly code and that can be really useful uh, so in this particular case it is not able to do it really well however i have done it in the past with you know some of my use cases and it was able to you know very efficiently identify some of this you know assembly code and you know write it's uh, right write equivalent c code for me uh, so I have tried with few other things. For example, uh, if I take like, you know, sample bootloader code. Mm. So if I just take it right, okay. Bootloader code in assembly. So I have done it in the past. I'm just going to quickly show you. So is it able to identify it or not? So I'm just going to copy paste it and let's see what it has to do. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me 
what this code is all about let's see what it has to say this code is a x84 assembly language program perform context switch from 16 bit real mode to 30 bit priority mode okay exactly so it is uh, so from here you can find out right uh, you know it is the code is being used to you know switch from protected mode to re uh, real mode to protected mode so you know chat gpt is able to identify it really well so it, it also gives you the exact instruction the exact things it is trying to achieve so this is all about today's video and i hope uh, in this way you can actually you know utilize chat gpt uh, you know when you are reverse engineering softwares so i really hope you have found this video useful uh, if you like the kind of content i upload on this channel i request you to you know stay subscribed to this channel and um, thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next video bye bye